Hello, I am Dr. Ankita Mishra. I am a psychiatrist practicing in Mumbai. Today, I will be discussing about anxiety and depression. A lot of us consider depression and anxiety as a state of mind and believe that we can just snap out of it by being strong. Yes, feeling sad and anxious can be a normal emotional response to certain negative life events. However, it is different from being depressed and having an anxiety disorder where these, this, these feelings of sadness and anxiety are persistent and it affects our emotions, mood, thoughts, behavior and action to such an extent that it can impair our day-to-day -day functioning. So what causes depression and anxiety? Just like any other physical illness such as diabetes or high blood pressure, Anxiety disorder and depression are medical illness. They are caused by certain neurobiological changes in our brain. There are certain chemicals in our brain such as serotonin uh, which affect and control our mood and uh, behavior. A dysregulation in the level of these uh, chemicals can lead to anxiety and depression. So if you are feeling depressed, what should you do? Firstly. Do not keep it to yourself. Being depressed and anxious is often accompanied by a feeling of guilt and shame. And it makes it very difficult for someone to talk about it. Find someone you can trust and let them know how you are feeling. Just letting it out will give you a sense of relief. Secondly, try to, try to keep yourself as engaged as possible exercise, meditate, do yoga, it will help. Please do not drink alcohol, take drugs or smoke weed. It will worsen your situation. And most importantly, please seek professional help. So if you think someone is depressed, what is it that you should do? Uh, a lot of people are hesitant to talk about depression and ask people how they are, they are feeling for the fear that it might aggravate their emotions. Talking about anxiety and depression does not worsen it. Talk to someone, ask them how they are feeling. Listen to them without being judgmental. Just listening without being judgmental will and reassuring someone that you are there to support them will give them a lot of courage and support and importantly please encourage them to see a professional so invest in yourself exercise meditate develop a hobby and invest in developing a strong emotional relationship for your friends and family are your support system and they will be there for you in your difficult time and most importantly please seek professional help Thank you so much.